So my next uh, wild camp and walk is going to be in Suffolk again and it's going to be the Shotley Peninsula uh, sort of Shotley Gate sort of near near the border of Essex and Suffolk so I'm going to try and sort of camp on I believe it's the river the river Orwell I've wild camped on the Stour which I'll be walking along as well I've camped on the river Deben in Suffolk but I've not while camped on uh, the Orwell, so that's the plan anyway. I'll be needing the OS197 Ipswich Felix Stone Harridge Woodbridge and Manning Tree map. Of course, it's going to be from the Suffolk Walks book. Everything's going to be housed in the Terranova Laser Elite 20 rucksack. I'm sort of trying to go lightweight slash ultra light with this setup. Shelter of choice is going to be the Rab Ridge Raider Hooped Bivy. Then I've got the poles and some titanium stakes in there, six of them. I've also got some uh, some just steel sand stakes as well in case you know there's sort of a, a beach area or anything and I can't get the normal pegs in the ground. We've got on top of uh, it's all on top of the OEX three quarter length pad. Weighs about I think. 440 grams it's it's well under a kilo a uh, half a kilo I know that polycro ground tarp got my Carrymore uh, travel light sleeping bag two season that weighs 800 grams uh, I know the Rab Ridge Raider weighs I think about 800 grams it's under a kilo as well got an OEX self inflating sleeping pillow OEX sleeping bag liner then if it's not cutting it and I'm still a bit too cold I've always got this little light SOL emergency bivy bag to go over the top of my sleeping bag I'm going to use an Osprey little fold away waterproof uh, rucksack cover it will fit my Terranova really nice and snug on to spare clothing so I've got my little Rab uh, windproof jacket like smock thing it's incredibly light and it packs up really small uh, my Monte Minimus rain jacket that packs up really really small they're both very very light uh, layering options for extra warm clothing like at night beanie hat uh, OEX thermal top OEX thermal bottoms for water I'm going to be carrying two uh, 75 milliliter uh, old Oshi energy drink bottles so I'll carry a litre and a half of plain water I'll have at the end there half a litre of flavoured water to drink I've got a cider of course then if I need any more water I can stop in a pub there's going to be like four pubs on the walk so I can always ask them to sort of fill up that two litre uh, soya bag or any of the bottles if I need any more water then on to sort of small items like lights we've got my through night TH10 head torch it's incredibly bright little uh, TI3 through night mini flashlight got a capsule with some emergency money in that's a little microfiber pocket towel hand towel cleaning up that sort of stuff uh, through night uh, I can't remember what this one's called again now it's the T10 T10 turns into a lamp flashlight combo lighter spare battery for the, for the lamp pen knife hand sanitizer multi-purpose soap tiny little bottles lip balm and it's all going to be in a little Cuban fibre stuff sack uh, outkit titanium spork uh, first aid kit then on to cookware outkit titanium pot about 600 and I can't remember what it says now uh, it is 650ml uh, 400ml outkit titanium mug 
mini gas canister, uh, BRS titanium mini gas stove, weighs about 23 grams, uh, boils half a litre in about two minutes and change. Then backup stove in case the gas doesn't work, which is unlikely, uh, but you never know, it's incredibly light. Titanium mini Esbit stove, four Esbit cubes, uh, wet fire, OEX fire still, another mini lighter as well. A candle just to light stuff off of if need be. Um, we've got some tin foil and some water purification tablets. Then on to little uh, sit mat, which I can also put underneath my feet if my feet get really cold. So because I've just got a half pad. My food bag in the OEX stuff sack. I've got. Let's see what I've got. I always sort of try and pack a breakfast, lunch and dinner, these overnight things. We've got just some like go ahead sort of, I don't know what they are, cereal bar things. Uh, for dinner I'll have a pasta and sauce, chicken and mushroom flavour thing, they're brilliant they are, very filling. I've got some stuff to flavour my water with as well, lemon and lime. Then. In case I need something for lunch, I've got some barbecue beef flavour super noodles. Uh, I've got some Dextro's energy tablets, Alka Seltzer. Then in there is some porridge, probably apple and cinnamon flavour. So just add hot water to it. Got some cotton wool tinder as well for the Esbit stove. I've got a coffee from Alan Faro. Thanks, mate. And oh, got cereal bar for the morning I'll probably add a couple more cereal bars and energy bars to it and also two hot chocolate sachets as well but yeah that is going to be my kit should be nice and light I'm going to pack it all away I'm going to weigh it uh, without the food and without the water and the cider so I'll give you the base pack weight okay that's the gear all packed away as you can see I've left my uh, food bag out the map and the guidebook and then those OEX waterproof over trousers there I'm probably going to be wearing those most of the time I haven't checked the weather forecast yet but lately we've had a lot of rain so I've got my uh, waterproof jacket in here as well so who knows that could be coming out and being warm most of the day as well so yeah, let's get this thing weighed. Got a set of luggage scales. Okay, so let's just wait for it to zero. This is in kilos. And I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So that's 4.4 kilos, yeah? So that's without water without me food and of course the map and guidebook I'll keep in the pocket of me walking trousers so uh, yeah nice uh, light pack of course once I've uh, got the water and the food in it that soon changes it but I'll be consuming that stuff throughout the day so and over overnight of course so then in the morning uh, it'll be really really light Anyways, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, the Shotley Peninsula. It's going to be a solo hike and camp. Uh, I just just fancy doing, you know, solo sort of ultra lightish one on my own for a change. Uh, it's nice to get away from everyone. <laughs> no offence. Anyways, yeah, you'll see me and you'll see this kit on the Shotley Peninsula. Cheers for watching, guys. Thank you for the support. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And uh, yeah, cheers. See you later.